So antibodies are a type of protein molecule that your immune system produces as it fights infection. Antibodies circulate in the blood and other body fluids, and they act as sentinels to help keep us healthy. And the interesting thing about antibodies is that they're capable of attaching to the specific germs that caused antibodies to be made in the first place. So people who are infected with the novel coronavirus make antibodies that specifically recognize that virus and not other types of viruses. By analogy, uh, think of a lock and key. The key is made to open a specific lock and not another lock. So we're still learning about the novel coronavirus, but we do know that antibodies against it become detectable several days after symptoms begin. These antibodies are like fingerprints that tell us the virus has caused an infection and that our immune system has responded. Now, the strength of the antibody response to the virus really depends on several things, like the person's age, their nutritional status, how severe their COVID-19 illness was, and whether or not they have conditions or are taking medications that could affect how well their immune system responds. The other important thing to remember is that antibodies usually remain in the blood for some period of time, and they act like guards that can quickly uh, restart the immune system or activate the immune system when someone has been exposed a second time to that same infection that caused them to be made. Now, with some infections, antibodies not only recognize when a past infection returns, but they also keep us from getting the same illness again. Like, think of the measles. Other times, though, the protection that antibodies give us lasts only a short time, like we see with seasonal flu. And right now, we don't know how long antibodies to the novel coronavirus last, or if they even give us short or long-term immunity. And that's really important for us to know, because doctors want to be able to use the results of these antibody tests to determine if someone is immune or not. But we just don't know the answer to that question. And until we do, these antibody tests to novel coronavirus really only tell us that you have had an infection.